Hi friends. Today we're going to do something a little different that I haven't done before. This is my friend Jan, and she and her husband. Actually, you're not married. I guess I shouldn't call him your husband yet, right? You bought a wedding dress in Guadalajara. I did. Yeah? I did. How did you like shopping in Guadalajara? It was a lot of fun. Yeah? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. She went with a couple of girlfriends here, and uh, uh, fortunately left I and Steve, the, I guess we call him your fiancé. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, fortunately left Steve and I home for the wedding dress shopping. We weren't into that. Anyway, um, Jan and Steve are visiting their friends from Arizona, and while they're down here, <coughs> uh, Jan decided to have some medical procedures, so that's what we're going to talk about today. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Did we have a list of the things that you did? Um... Can you list them off, or do we need to go get the list? I can probably list them off. So we're talking about cosmetic surgery. Mm -hmm. Right. And before we go to the list of what all you had done, um, why did you decide to do it in Mexico instead of the United States? Did you check this out in the States? I've had some friends that I worked with. Um, and being a nurse, we we compare yeah. a lot of things. And some of my friends have had body lifts and boob jobs and just different things. Facelifts, I don't think so. Yeah. Maybe Botox or something right. like that. But the expense in the United States is horrific. Right. And it's cosmetic, so it's never covered it's by insurance because it's insurance. elective, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So I never really, I never <coughs> considered cosmetic surgery. But how much do you think it would cost for what you had done in the United States? I would probably say 30 to, uh, you know, who knows, $45,000. Really? Yeah. Wow. And that's why I never did it, because I just didn't have that kind of money laying around for, you know, to do my face. And it wasn't that important to me. I, I was fine the way I yeah. was, and um, so cosmetic surgery was... Not even a thought, but I thought, well, when I'm here, I would like to have my neck. It started drooping, yeah. and it started looking a little bit aged. And you mean I, like this one here? Um, similar to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that... Dang. I know. You can't be a nurse when you're eight years old. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> but anyway, I, I was, and, and um, yeah, it, it's taken a toll. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm vibrant, I'm active, uh -huh. uh, and I just wanted a fresher look. And uh, I didn't want to feel tired. I didn't want to feel like that I was aging 
too fast. Well, so I just wanted to freshen my look, if anything else. And in speaking with the doctor, it was it was really evident that there's some procedures that we could do, which were, you know, kind of minimal, I would say, that can give me that fresher look. Right. So when I went for the initial consultation, well, I guess I should back up. When I checked out the doctors, I really found two that I would consider that were close to your home. And since I was going to be staying here, I didn't want to drive all the way to Guadalajara or anything like that. So I kind of came down with two doctors. One is an older gentleman here in town, and um, he's very successful, um, and he's got quite a practice. And here in town, if you happen to be new to our videos here, uh, we're on the north shore of Lake Chapala, south of Guadalajara, Mexico, in a little town called Ajijic, um, Jalisco, Mexico. So that's mm -hmm. when we say in town. In town, yeah. in the village. In the village, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the other doctor, it, which was my doctor. So you picked a doctor because, I think you told me before that, you know, the older doctor seemed fine, but with your medical experience, it's like the younger doctor might know newer and better procedures. Well, he had them listed on his site yeah. of, of the seminars he's gone through, the updates in, in um, lessening the scars right. that are done on the face and other places. So with the, with the extra education that he had, yeah. And updating himself surgically, yeah, that is impressive to me. Somebody who continues to learn, right. continues to um, do a better job with their surgical techniques, and wants to know how to do better all the time. Yeah. That impressed me. And we should say that you know the the, the doctor that you had, and we're not going to name him, mm -hmm. but um, and, and don't leave me a comment and ask me because this is not my experience, and I'm not going to make a recommendation for a doctor. There are lots of cosmetic surgery mm -hmm. opportunities here on the North Shore of Lake Chapala, mm -hmm. uh, Chapala and certainly many, many more in Guadalajara. Absolutely. So um, I don't want to single out a particular guy, although you were extremely happy with him. Yes, I, I am. I think our point here today is that having cosmetic surgery in Mexico shouldn't be scary. It's been one of the best experiences I've had. Yeah. Um, I've seen a dentist here. I'm totally impressed. Everything is beautifully clean. Yeah. Um, sanitary. Um, their techniques, their surgical techniques are very well. Mm -hmm. um, they are so patient-oriented. And, and even in preparing for anything, they are very careful about their um, surgical technique mm -hmm. and, and um, cleanliness of a site or a wound or whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, they pay extra attention. And one thing I will say about the doctors here is that when you go in, you sit down with them and it's like you have all the time in the world. Well, and I've made this point in other videos of mine that the healthcare system in Mexico, it's not perfect, it's not perfect anywhere, but it's still run by doctors with regard to patients instead of with regard to insurance companies and hospital corporate boards. Absolutely. And to correct me if I'm wrong, you, you are a nurse, I'm just a patient. <laughs> it, it's a lot of um, headache in, in the States because of those things. Yeah. Even though cosmetic surgery is is kind of unnecessary unless you have an accident or something that that um, they're going to repair your your uh, face yeah. or body part um, to make it a little bit more eye pleasing. But having that, it's it's like this partnership between doctor and patient. Well, you know, I have gone to doctors in the United States in recent years, and it's like, hurry up, we got to see the next guy. Exactly. Here, you sit with the doctor for, you know, half an hour, just chit-chat. They're asking about your family. They're yeah. asking about my visit. They're asking about... They're talking to you as a person, not just, you know... 
I, it, it's a, like a bill, I feel a, a, like a family opportunity. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I feel like family when I go in because yeah. you're sitting down with this person. He's interested in me, right. not my face, yeah. but who I am. Right. And I really, really am very impressed with that. It's refreshing. Yeah, it yeah. really is refreshing. And again, you know, there's there's a lot of healthcare in Mexico that's you know healthcare for the masses with government health insurance mm -hmm. and stuff and. That may be different, you know, being able to go and pay for private care like this, that's kind of like a really great experience mm -hmm. compared to some medical experiences you can have in Mexico right. on the government hospitals and stuff, but, right. but still. So let's, you had, in my uneducated <laughs> understanding of all of this stuff, you had a facelift, is that right? Well, he called it a non-surgical facelift. Yeah. Um, and I think that's because a lot of the things, like in he did, he lifted my eyebrows. Yeah. Well. Okay. Can, can, he lifted your eyebrows. Yeah. How does that? How does that work? Well, I mean, I think you were telling me before. It's like inside there's. Well, strings? yeah, it's yeah. Uh, um, there he went through the top of my scalp up. Well, back in here somewhere. Yeah. And then he loosened the skin away from the tissue. Yeah. And then he put strings in here. And lifted your eyebrows? And lifted my eyebrows. Whoa. So there there's a, there was a small incision right up in here. Yeah. And um, so that was the lift. Now, since you're still black and blue, yeah. we should tell how long it's been since you had the surgery. This has been um, nine days. I nine had, days. Yeah. yeah, and this might be a good place, with your permission, for me to show the before and the immediate after. Yes, you. In, in photographs we have. Perfect. Okay, yeah. that would be fine. Yeah, because. So this is our before picture, and in this picture, you already have the ink uh, on your neck and up there by your eyes, where he's going to make sutures. And this is the doctor drawing out his plan on your face. And then this is just a couple hours after you're out of surgery. You're back home here. And we are just sitting around staring at you because we can't believe how great you look. So, he, he lifted your eyebrows with strings that came up in from the top of your head right. down there on the inside. So, it's not like he pulled my forehead up and, and cut the extra skin or anything yeah. like that. He just gently lifted that. Right. And that's why it's not a full facelift. Yeah. Um, mm. He also took the bags out from under my eyes. And, and the extra skin that you get that hangs down with age into yeah. your eyelid. Those are gone now. So he too. took skin off up here. Right in here. Yeah. Right in the middle of your eyelid. Um, and then he also did down here and took those bags out. Is it okay if I grab the camera and we have a close-up of what we're sure. talking about? Sure. <laughs> Strings up here. Uh, I can't see my finger. <laughs> you show me. Strings up here. You have strings up uh -huh. there. Okay, on, on the ins sides. on the inside of your on the under your of skin, my scat. Yeah. yeah, and then they took skin out on your eyelids. Right up here, yeah. uh, most people, as we age, we yeah. get this lower lid that kind of hangs down into your eyelid. Right, and so that is gone quite often. Now, if it hangs over where it's in involving your vision, yeah. Medicare insurance will pay for that, right. but mine didn't do that. It was just, you could tell. I had to kind of lift it up to put eyeshadow yeah. on. And then my lower lids also here. Uh -huh. um, I don't know exactly how he did that, but anyway, he took the bags out from underneath my eye. Right. So look over that way. And then you have right here by your ear what... Right here. Yeah. Now, this is part of this neck here. In lifting that, he took this loose here, just um, just the side of my face. Yeah. And he pulled this back, and he sutured 
right around my ear here, yeah. up into the ear. Um, I have better earlobes now, but it's around my earlobe, and it goes back behind my ear. That's part of it. The other part is, is that he pulled some of this back yeah. into my neck. Oh, here. okay. And I had incisions right here. Right. So that helped pull that back. Uh-huh. This pulled this up and back, and I got this look. And so, in here, <laughs> we, we got the before and after of mine. I didn't have mine done. In there, it's like that. It's still a little swollen. Yeah, you're still swollen. I'm still swollen. <clears throat> Nine days, yeah. Um, but it took... My, a lot of my laugh lines, they're smoother, they're yeah. softer right now. So this is lifted here, up this way, and this is lifted back this way. So what do you think is the expectation for the, the black and blue going away? I expect it to go away really quickly. Yeah. Um, it has... I can, um, I, I can already tell the difference from up, up there on your forehead yeah. and under here. Mm -hmm. You were all black and blue under here. I was. I, I was pretty yeah. black and blue because um, he, and it also he went under my neck. Now, or I'm under my chin. There's a, a incision here. Yeah. Now, I don't know exactly what he did with that, but I think he just took the skin away from the, the muscle. Mm hmm And then, then had more to lift. So, is, have we, have we covered pretty much the extent the cutting and pulling? That's it. Okay. And how much did this cost? This cost me $5,000. $5,000 U.S. dollars compared to 35 30 or 45 in the States? Right. Yeah. And I, you know, I didn't expect to have things done except that little place on my, under my chin yeah. and maybe my eyes. And right. I've got this great result that I'm happy with so far. And then when the swelling continues to go down, the bruising is gone. I, I, I believe it's wiped at least 10, 15 years off of my appearance. Well, at the expense of getting what I get from my wife, Lynn, when I say, you look wonderful today, and she says, what was wrong with yesterday? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking great. Thank and, you. You know, uh, and um, we having witnessed this from the before yeah. through the nine days, it's an am it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you for um, letting me take a close up of all of your black and blue and <laughs> whatever. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's fine. Yeah. And it was a process, and and I think people should know Mexico is not that scary, and especially the medical has been very impressive. Um, my fiancé and myself, both our ends are totally impressed. And we should also note that your fiancé, Steve, is also a nurse. Yes, he is also so a nurse. So you both have great ability and experience to make a judgment that makes your statement that the medical procedure here was, as it is, mm -hmm. uh, a valid one. Yes. Because if I was telling them about what do I know? <laughs> well, I, you know, I think you definitely have to check your doctor. You have yeah. to be confident. If you're not confident, you're not comfortable with your doctor. Right. You need to find another doctor. Yeah. But I have, um, you know, no matter where I've gone, I have been totally impressed with um, how I'm treated and respected and honored, really. I feel like I'm, you know, I call myself Hollywood after the surgery because I wear a hat and sunglasses, so I was Hollywood, but, you know, you really do feel like that. Yeah. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up, and please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.